Now I'd say that 99 really is an essential application for pretty much anybody that regularly uses their computer. Now, if you are somebody that is constantly installing applications or maybe rebuilding PCs and then installing the same applications again, the 9 really does take all of that headache away and gives you a super easy way or a super easy process on how you can get all of your favorite applications installed again with pretty much minimal fuzz. Now to get the application, if you just search for 9 and click on the first link, which is just 9 and we can see that the application will install all of your favorite applications and update them without any kind of toolbars, without any kind of clicking next or anything like that. Just choose your favorite applications and you're pretty much good to go. Now they really do have a very vast and extensive library of applications. So uh, let's say for example, we'll start with web browsers. So I'd like to install, uh, let's go for Firefox. Now in messaging, I use uh, Discord. Let's click on that. Uh, for imaging, uh, let's use uh, GIMP, which is a great uh, image editor. Of course, you can click as many as you like. Uh, now for reading PDFs, uh, let's go for Qt PDF. Now for media, um, let's use VLC. And also let's use Winamp for old time's sake. But of course, you can see they've got Audacity, they've got Spotify, and some of the other popular ones here. Now if you need to install Java, you can select that here. And let's leave that as is. And let's also install some uh, AVG for some antivirus. Now uh, for storage, let's go for some Dropbox. Now for file sharing, uh, this is my favorite uh, client for that kind of file sharing. So let's go for Qubit Torrent. Um, finally, let's go down um, for developer tools. Um, let's use Notepad++. And I also use FileZilla to transfer files from my PC over to my website. Let's go for that. Uh, let's use 7-zip, which is my favorite compression and decompression tool. And utilities, uh, let's go for uh, WinDIR stat, which is a great utility to see exactly which applications or which files are consuming space on your PC. And in the other, uh, let's go for let's go for some Evernote, which is uh, also a great note-taking application. So we've selected about ten different applications there. That's now all done. I can now go to the bottom and click on Get Your Nine Light. Give that a second and that then downloads a single executable on your device. And if I now click on this, give that a second. So now through a single executable, and let's give that permission. That's now basically going to go ahead and install all of those applications for me. If I go to details, we can see at the moment it's installing Firefox. And we can see in the background, each of those applications I previously selected are now being installed one by one without any kind of intervention from me, without me clicking on next or anything like that. All of them are now being silently installed on my machine. And we can see in the background, the icons for the various applications are now also appearing. So it really does take the headache off installing all these applications because I mean, normally when you do this manually, you have to you know double click on an executable, go through the next, 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 select the default options, and then the install actually starts. But with this process, we can select multiple applications, all of the ones available on that website, then just one double click, and all of those will be installed silently in the background. So it really does save so much time, especially if you are regularly building machines or rebuilding machines or building VMs or just regularly installing the same applications. Just following this process really does take that entire app installation headache away. So to give a thumbs up for that. Now we get the message that that's now finished. So all of these programs here have now been installed on my machine again without me typing anything or clicking next or anything like that i can now go ahead and use any of these programs so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching let me just apologize that i haven't uploaded any video to this channel for a while but i've just been so busy with my other channel but again i do promise to upload at least one video a week to this channel so if you're interested in computer tutorials tips and tricks anything really pc and laptop and computer related then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks